Tomorrow is May 5th and many of you are probably celebrating Cinco de Mayo. If you are, or even if you aren't, you will love these tortilla roll-ups with a nice spicy cheesy filling, served cold, wonderful appetizer, and a nice little snack too. So they're perfect for a party. I've started by putting an eight ounce chunk of reduced fat cream cheese in my bowl. And then I'm just going to add a few more ingredients. I've got half cup of sour cream, and I think I'll just mix it up a little bit before I add any of the other ingredients. Now, that's got a little bit of a head start. I'm going to add two cups of shredded, I've got a Mexican blend of cheeses, but you can sure use just plain cheddar. And I've drained a small can of chopped green chilies. And I also added a little bit of minced garlic in there. You may have noticed that when I dumped it in, but I can't hardly do anything without garlic. There's about two thirds cup of chopped green onions and a little bit of seasoned salt, maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Then mix it all together. At this point, it's ready to spread on some tortillas. So you can see it's creamy, yet it's a little bit chunky at the same time with those green onions. If you like olives, black olives are a nice addition, and sometimes I cube up fresh avocado and add that. So there's lots of options, whatever your favorite Mexican ingredients are. Now I've got some whole wheat tortillas here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to spread this mixture on the tortilla, then roll it up, but first let's get it. I go close to the edge, but not all the way to the edges of the round tortilla. When you start rolling the tortilla, the important thing is to get it as tight as you can because these are going to be sliced into rounds to form little pinwheels and they'll look pretty if they're just nice and tightly held together. So there we go. Now at this point, all you have to do is wrap it in some plastic wrap, refrigerate it for, up, for three hours up to 24 hours. The longer, the better. And then take a nice sharp knife, and I would slice this one probably into about 10 slices. You'll get nice little pinwheels, and they're delicious and so easy to make. Nice to have on hand in the refrigerator. I'm Sue Doden, and I'm all about food.